Maryland officially launched sports betting. It's estimated to bring in millions of dollars each year once it's fully up and running. Well, this comes as Governor Larry Hogan recently announced a state budget surplus of $2.5 billion. Fox 45 News' Margaret Chadbourne is following this story. And Margaret, what's expected to happen with all this extra gambling money? Maxine and Kai, a portion of this money will go towards education. And Governor Larry Hogan is touting the sports gambling as a revenue stream that won't require raising taxes. Maryland casinos are opening in-person sports betting to the public. The proceeds are mostly dedicated to public schools, and the industry is estimated to bring in about $100 million per year. When you're talking about $100 million in revenue, it is a massive opportunity for the state to help people financially and do it in a way that's broad-based and it's not necessarily a spending program, but a tax relief program. In a state already flush with cash, what does that mean for the average taxpayer? David Williams with the Taxpayers Protection Alliance says there's an opportunity to deliver tax relief across the board. When you have all this revenue coming into the state, whether it's sports betting or the federal government, this is an opportunity for the state to help people. And that can help come in, in the form of cutting taxes and specifically gas taxes at a time when people really need it. Governor Larry Hogan has a plan for dealing with a $2.5 billion budget surplus, the largest in the state's history. Included in his plan, Hogan wants to put a majority of it in a rainy day fund and will also look to provide some tax relief for retirees. Meanwhile, the state comptroller has his own idea for spending the surplus, sending the most underserved Marylanders $2,000 checks. These people need help right now. They have no food, no medicine. They have no job. They have no daycare. And the idea of tax breaks is relief. I mean, stop the politics. We don't need it. Billions in extra state funds with the gubernatorial election fastly approaching. More than 200 nonprofits have requested the state give $1 billion of this surplus to nonprofit organizations in the state of Maryland. Reporting live in Baltimore, Margaret Chadbourne, Fox 45 News.